Hello and welcome back to another vlog. In today's vlog, we're going to make a smoke machine. I've just discovered that I've got a vac leak somewhere. I tried to pump um, air into pressurise the system and it just wouldn't build up and you could actually hear where it's coming from. So this is to test for any sort of vacuum leaks that you might have in the car and you can't find them or feel them um, or get to them and this will get you to the exact spot where you need to go. So, for this, you will need one jar like so with a metal lid, a couple of fittings, soldering iron, some JB weld, and I just bought another air gun for the sake of it. So you probably don't need that if you've already got it. Um, I'll put pricing up for everything around. So this costs, I think, just around $50. So first step will be, we're going to empty this out. Obviously you can use any brand, it doesn't have to be Dolmio. <clears throat> then we'll end up putting one fitting here, another fitting there. And we'll have the soldering iron in like that, in like so, so that's level. I've ended up doing it in this orientation just so it fits everything, um, but depending on the size of your lid, you'll be able to work out which way you can do it. And then from there, we'll just have some hoses going um, off these air lines. One will go to the motor, the other one will go so we can, uh, to this so we can blow air straight into it. And then it'll end up blowing air through here and pouring smoke out of there. So first step, I'll get this washed out and um, I'll end up marking where all the fittings go with the texture and uh, then we'll drill it out, JD weld them on and uh, go from there. Alright, so I'm just quickly ducked down the good here. Just drilled out whereabouts everything's going to go. There should be enough room for everything to fit. So I'm just going to drill a pilot hole first and then just step it up, get them drilled out and then everything fit. Alright, so we'll see if we can find another drill bit that's a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've just drilled the holes out. Just big enough. They're infirm, but I'll still give them a uh, bit of JB weld around the other bits here. Let's see, is this solder road? Now, to get this in, I'm just unscrewing the tip here so I don't have to make that wider, and then I'll screw the tip back in as we go to the other side. And just note that on one side of this particular soldering iron, the screws are different sizes, so just be careful with that. And then, so the tip doesn't fall out, we'll just shove it in this way. Perfect. Screw it back in. That's what it's going to look like. We'll JB weld underneath here as well, so that'll get a nice firm setting. Well, that'll seat nicely, and then it'll be all sealed as well. And uh, yeah, so next step, we'll do that. And uh, let's see if I've got some hose here at the shop. And um, we'll go back home, get in the jar, and see how she all looks. Okay, so we're at the back. And I found some line to use. So 
is this thicker one for the car that goes straight into the back line into the car. Then we'll use this thinner one to stretch out the up and just use it the airline. So we'll end up getting out of here, get some JB, go back home and get some JB weld on this, let it all set, and uh, hopefully we get to test it more shortly. I'll see you back at home. JB weld on, mix the two parts together, so I'll do the, I'll do the two fittings first, it's not the prettiest job but it's getting it done, so that's them two done, now I'm just going to do all the way around here get that to seal like that and then I've got this thing in here so I can hang it and it can sit and dry without um, anything, any pressure. Yeah, about the same amount of JB Weld again. I'm try and cake on as much as I can. So I think I'm actually going to have to hold it till it tacks off. So I'll shove some more on the inside there. Hopefully get a better seal. And we'll wait for that to dry. And uh, put it together. JB Welds, all gone hard. I noticed um, there's a bit of air leaks coming out of the soldering iron itself out of the uh, casing so I've taped up most of that and uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes if there's any more we'll address that when we get to it so I also managed to get a spray can lid chop it down a little bit and then cut up a plastic bowl to sort of just bring the base up so you don't have to use as much oil and uh, what we'll be using is baby oil which is basically vinegar oil um, it's what I've seen, they reckon smokes the best. So we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. Old sock just uses a wick. And um, as long as the sock's soaked in the baby oil, uh, she won't burn. So what we'll do, sock in. We'll go to time lapse and um, we'll see how long it takes to get some smoke happening. Right, so we're just over a minute in and uh, she's starting to get some vapors happening. build up a little bit. <coughs> what I'm going to do is put a tyre valve on here and then I'll be able to control the flow of how much pressure I'm going to put into the uh, motor. Give you a little 
we'll see how much smoke comes out. Alright, so that's your little smoke tester. We'll find out on the next vlog what problems we discover. Cheers guys, peace.